Today we're going to be talking about how to lose weight healthily. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today we're going to be talking about how to lose weight healthily. And um, I was motivated to start this as a series because uh, my plan is to get into training and then cadences and different things down the road. But this felt like a great prerequisite. Uh, one of our legends having some challenges and had dropped me a note and I decided to move this up the queue and talk about this first because it's gonna lead right into the training videos and the different kind of workouts you need to do. I mean, as far as it, from a process standpoint, cadence and all of that, that will help you lose weight. So for example, you may be one of these people that no matter how much you exercise or how much you stick to your program, you're finding that, hmm, I'm still not losing weight. In fact, you might even be gaining weight. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So are you one of those people that you're following your program and no matter what, you seem to be out of putting on weight or you can't seem to lose weight or whatever? Well, it is more common than you think. And the first place I want to start with are people that may be gaining weight, even though they're sticking to their program. And the first thing you want to do is to rule out whether this situation is because of a thyroid problem. So you want to make sure you, if you're unsure, see a doctor, get a physical, discuss your symptoms with the doctor first, and then come back and look at the following details. Because the reason you're not losing weight is because there is no, what I call, there is no deficit. Meaning that you're eating, let's say 2000 calories a day and you're actually not burning more. Okay. If you're burning what you're eating, then your weight stays the same. So if you're eating more than you're burning, your weight will go up. Now, you may not be tracking to the nth degree what you're eating. I mean, let's face it, it's not very practical or the, maybe the kind of foods that make up your diet, you have to pay attention to the fact that, okay, I'm eating well, generally, I'm exercising, but I'm not losing weight. So something needs to change. What's going on with you? Uh, is your, your life stressful? If you have a stressful job, stress can cause you to binge, stress can cause you to eat more, and you may even be unaware, you know, and you end up putting on more. If you have a job where you're sitting a lot, just because you exercise for an hour, if you're sitting for nine or 10 hours, you may not be moving around enough to continue burning calories or the workout you did did not stress enough of the right zones to where your body kept burning calories after you were done working out. The, the, the worst thing you can do is to stop eating because you need to keep your metabolism regular. And that's the reason I mentioned that you want to rule out whether you're having a thyroid problem. If it's not a physical problem with your body, then you need to focus more on what kind of workouts you're doing and how the intensity or the duration is impacting what your goals are. And then you also want to make, make your goals realistic. So let's take this scenario. Uh, you've probably seen people that say, you know, they're in their 40s or their 30s or what. I want to get to my high school weight. That's not very practical. Now, some of them get there by unhealthy means. And when you see them, you can tell they just don't look right. If you know what I mean. So you want to focus more on what am I doing today? That's either helping me maintain my weight or get me to my goal. I'll use myself for an example. In high school, I was like a stick very skinny or whatever, up until I was about probably 19 or so, then I started to mature. I was one of the, I was kind of later, you know, a late teens, I started to really get muscle and all of that. Now, if I were to try to get to my, my weight in high school, I wouldn't be able to do that. I was like 165, maybe 170 tops. I'm 190 pounds right now, which is about, 88 kilos. That's pretty much where my weight stays throughout the year. And then in the winter, it might go up by a kilo or two. Now, I want to qualify weight. Don't base your progress on weight. It's not very 
practical because your weight changes day to day depending on the time of day or what's going on with you or what you may have eaten. If you had something salty, your body may maintain, retain more water. So you want to base it on how do I feel generally? How do my clothes fit me? Don't just weigh yourself and then say, oh, I'm not making any progress. Feel whether there's an extra kick in your, self, in your step. Are you feeling a little lethargic versus the day before? All of that should be your gauge. Now, let's get down into how you address these practically. It's hard to analyze what you need to do on your own to try to achieve a goal because you first of all need to make sure that goal is practical. That's why I talked about people trying to get to that high school weight. You need to find out what is healthy for your body. So I think that it's better to take the approach of, instead of focusing on weight, say, I'm going to increase my activity and I'm going to make sure that when I am not working out away from meal times, I'm very particular about what kind of snacks, you know, snack more on fruits, you know, pears, apples, whatever. And, and you know, don't don't get into no low carb diet, all that foolishness. You need carbs because they give you the energy to get through your day, whether you're working out or sitting at a desk using your brain. That's where your energy source comes from. But it's not just carbs. You need protein. Protein is good for rebuilding your muscles after your workout. So you just really want to eat a balanced diet. The reason why I'm keeping this kind of general is because those of you who are trying to lose weight, I need you, if you need me to help you, sign up on the website and I will, I will set up a new category for weight loss programs because I need to get to know What's going on with you? Have you had a physical to rule out physical problems? I need to know how you're tracking your weight. I need to know whether you're being realistic on your goal that you set to achieve. Because if you're a big bone person, don't expect to be as light as somebody else who is not built that way. What you want to do is to get your body fit as opposed to a particular weight. When you're fit, you're fit. Okay? Can you... Get that extra kick out the door when you're stepping out the door. How do you feel? Because everybody's designed differently. We're all supposed to be different weights. That's what keeps the world interesting. Okay. You're a big bone person. What you want to do is to make sure I want to make sure I'm healthy. Now, I've saved that for this point in the video because just because you're thin doesn't mean you're healthy. Just because you're big doesn't mean you're healthy. So you really, you want to reorient yourself and say, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you want to say, I want to get healthy. You want to get your pipes, your aerobic system cleaned out. You want to stress your body with the right kind of exercise that will keep you burning calories when you're done working out. And you want to make sure that you handle the stresses in your life. So it's more of a life thing. You know, if somebody wants to help you supposedly lose weight and they don't ask what's going on with you from a standpoint of the kind of work you do, the stresses in your life. When do you eat? When do you work out? Are you working out enough? Because I come back to me as an example. No matter I'm writing about eight to ten hours a week and my weight is staying at eighty eight kilos there about 88 89 kilos if i were to try to drop some weight i would have to increase my activity and with that increase in activity i would have to increase my calories not to the point where um say not burning enough and i had to think about that there for a second the best way to explain it when you increase your activity your metabolic rate will change because you're going to be doing more so don't eat less trying to lose weight weight loss happens over time in a healthy setting weight gain happens over time the problem is when we're gaining the weight we don't see it until one day you realize whoa you know then you want to start panicking you want to lose it right away it takes a period of time to get you going so you want to give yourself a block of four weeks, four to six weeks to kind of look at a comparison, even if you're doing before and after pictures, whatever you're doing, but don't just focus on the scale. It will drive you crazy because your weight will fluctuate. You want to look at the average of your weight over a period of time. If you're going to use weight, I like to use 
how I feel, how I look, how my clothes fit me. I mean, when that, those pair of pants that used to fit you real tight falls off, you know. You know, I have a lot of pants I had to take in. You know, the people who are close to me, like Paul, they know. I had to take to the alterations because my waist used to be about probably 36 and now it's 34 and a half. So none of my business clothes fit me very well. I had to put holes in the belt to pull it closer. When I got tired of doing that, I took them down to have the, 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 the slacks altered. My body changed. My weight did not go down much, but my body reformatted around here. That's where we see, that's where men, even women, we seem to deposit a lot of weight around our abdomen. And when you deposit weight around your abdomen, it's, a, it's an unhealthy sign because it can lead to other problems, you know, health problems. That means you're just sitting around too much. So everybody responds differently to a different program. And so you have to get an analysis of what's going to work particularly for you based on your goals. But you definitely have to make sure that you're not eating the wrong foods, meaning processed foods. You want to eat natural foods as much as possible. What are you eating out or eating at home doesn't matter. You want to eat more foods that don't come out of a can. And if it does, you want to minimize the quantity, you know, but you really want to eat a lot of starches, your vegetables. You want to have variety so you're not craving. When you start messing with your diet and restricting yourself, then you have a tendency to binge. Okay. So to summarize, you want to lose weight. If it's not a health problem, meaning you don't have thyroid issues or whatever, make sure you rule that out. If you're not sure, see a doctor for a physical. And, and that's a good idea. Anytime you've had a layoff for a long period of time, you want to get back into something and you're just not feeling good, let the doctor check you out first to rule out any issues. And after that, what you want to do is to make sure that your program is consistent and make sure your program stresses you enough. If you're not writing enough hours, you're not going to lose weight because there is no deficit. I'm a simple math. If you're not burning more than you're putting in, you're not going to lose weight, but don't depend on the weight. Your body is not even going to change because your clothes won't feel any better because you're not burning enough calories. So that means your program, your workout program needs to change. So uh, it's a start. Let me know what other videos you want to see along this line of weight loss. And I will start building the series for the weight loss videos here. Set up a play playlist for that because I think that I need to address that. I've been getting a lot of queries uh, about these kind of subjects. And then yesterday I got one that uh, just told me, you know, I needed to ramp this up and bring it to the fore. So those of you who are having challenges, sign up. I will because that's a goal. You know, that's something that you need to be coached. You need a life coach per se. So you can have somebody that motivates you to stay the course. Go to veloharmony.com. I will put the link down here so you can sign up and make sure that uh, we get you started on a program to get you fit and get you healthy. And that's what I'm going to call it. It's not so much weight loss as opposed to getting you healthy. So no matter what, get your K's in and stay the course. Hang in there.